Hello everybody and welcome back to Nova Atis. Last time we engaged the natives for the first time and found out that they're really not very tough at all. So uh, I took the gold money back to the mainland, bought a lot of uh, mead and the like, and grabbed a lot of grain from our farms. And we are back here and we're going to try to siege our first castle. Uh, we haven't actually even finished building our own yet. Um, it's still under construction right here. It's at like 40-ish percent though because I got some, uh, I went and mined some stone, cut down some trees for it. They are definitely going to swarm this with 800 or more as soon as we take it because, uh, I ran over here and there are a ton of people right here and, uh, their whole army seemed to just hang out on this little land, but I can't take this one because there's 500 men in this. So... I mean, this is pretty much our only choice, it's, uh, 381, but if we can take it, then we can establish, uh, ourselves as a nation, and as long as we can hold it for at least a minute, we can, uh, create our nation, and then hopefully, uh, as Mira won't ca will can count as actually a town, maybe? I'm not sure how that can work, but hopefully Izmir can actually count as a town after that, so then even if they take this back, then we're fine. Though I'm not entirely sure. So, if they, like, immediately come at us, we might try to defend it, or we might not, who knows. But we might as well try this. I've already made sure that it would just ladders, and they're just immediately gonna swarm in, abandon the siege. It's already 60 more. Oh, that was probably... I'm an idiot. That was probably freaking farmers going to work. Derp. Okay, so... Lead my soldiers in assault. The defenders sally out to meet your assault. Whoa. Battle advantage negative eight. Damn. Okay, what do we need here? Five is first aid uh, for myself. Six is inspire troops. Seven is morale shock. We need morale shock. So five is myself, six is allies to heal. So in a moment... Oh shit, I have my... I have a freaking... Sickle! Damn it! I have a sickle because I was working on the farms. Man, help! Man, help! Help! Okay, we're doing okay. We lost a swordsman. It's not so bad. I will harvest you! Holy shit, delivered 23 damage. I killed him with a sickle! I mean, I guess it would be kind of dangerous. 13 damage, it's not that great, but it works. It's about the same as most of their weapons, honestly. Okay, uh, 6. Should heal my allies. No. You treat your wounds. No, I want to inspire my men! Oh, and it just delayed. Good, just burning through experience. Good. So it's going to take me a lot longer to level up, but I'd rather my men live. Honestly. Okay, so apparently they can run out the walls to freaking meet us. Do I get a box of my belongings here? No. I should. Why are there so many spears? Okay, there shouldn't be many left. That's that's it, actually. This guy is another dead on his feet. Uh, I should have just picked up one of their own damn weapons. I'm an idiot. Whatever. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to actually help very much. But, uh... Are they just going to keep coming out to meet us? Is there no actual... Battleground? Oh no, there it goes. Oh shit. It's freaking archers. They're going to be a pain in the ass. This is why I got another shield. I bought another shield and a lance, but I think I can only... Even equip the lance when I'm on a horse. I just need to kill one of you to get your weapon. Give me that. Give me anything. Aha! Yes! Aha, yes! Die! Now it works. Let's freaking do this. Six, heal my troops. Oh, it takes a second. Oh, and then all my men's yell. That's awesome. That's sweet. Because I raise my my sword and I'm like, yeah, let's do this. 
And then all my men are just like, oh yeah, screw these guys. Okay. So, apparently, uh, none of their troops are good. Even in sieges, their troops are trash. Does it not have an overhead? The overhead is a stab. Which really sucks. I'm taking a beating. Is there any better weapon? Where's the one-handed little thing that is actually not bad? <sighs> Flint cleaver is like real shitty, but at least I have another shield. How close to victory are we? There's 51 enemies. There's probably going to be more spawning. Let's heal my allies. Come on. There we go. Uh, apparently it's still on cooldown. I mean, I guess. I don't... I wish it was like a little icon at the top, maybe? Like a little HUD type thing? Tell you how long it's on cooldown? Maybe? That'd be nice. But I thought it would be nice to have an extra shield, but since uh, a shield on your back can actually stop arrows. And uh, so I just don't let the shield on my back break, because I don't think it can take damage while it's on my back. Actually, come to think of it, it probably can. <laughs> so, but, yeah, just like, just if I have to turn my back on some archers, I have that shield on my back, and I also have another one if I'm charging some archers and they're just tearing it up, since these guys have uh, spears, and spears just destroy shields. I really need to get some experience. Let's heal, recovered 18 hit points. These guys are really easy to kill. Especially with the abilities to heal my my troops. My goodness. Sprint. I don't think I can sprint, can I? Requires 14 agility. I don't think I have 14 agility. No. Nope. What are these guys? Yellow? Oh, they're the yellows. Okay. Can I shield bash? Aha! Um, I think that was a kick. Is that a kick? What is that? Oh, no, that's a shield bash. Just bash him. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Let's destroy these guys. Okay, so we pretty much win. I guarantee. Okay, okay so it seems that, uh, you have a little bit less... I mean, it's a little bit harder fighting them in their territory, but, uh, like, on their turf. But then again, their weapons are just so trash, nothing can save them, really. Come here. I only have your shitty flint blades. Come on, I want this kill. Damn it. Why is that guy's shield, like, pitch black? Is that a, uh... I think that's an error. How many are freaking left? I feel like I should heal my troops. There we go. Uh, wounded troops recover 30% of hit points. That's freaking amazing. That's just great. I need to heal myself, too, though. Uh, whew, it cost me a lot more to heal myself. Damn. Can't believe I brought my freaking sickle in for a siege. It's time for the harvest, boys. <laughs> this the harvest of souls. Oh shit, that's a lot of archers. Hi, boys. How's it going? Oh shit, I'm totally dead. But I'm gonna get the experience before I go. Fight me. Whoa, I thought you died. How did you not die? There we go. Okay, so I don't get a whole lot of experience for killing these guys, so I should not heal my troops as often, really. Because they're not really killing us anyway. Uh, I think most of my troops have shields, like almost all of them, so their arrows don't really do anything. And then a lot of these enemies try to use their shitty spears that are supposed to be like, would honestly be best against cavalry, and then they don't even use them against cavalry. So, 
I don't know if it's an AI issue or just like they're meant to be horrible because they're like farther back and they're like negative one in the tech tree instead of at one. That's probably what it is. It's probably supposed to just be that they're like farther back in technology. So they don't have the metal weapons, they don't have things like that. It's easier to deal with. But if I can take them out, then maybe I can start claiming uh, islands like ridiculously fast, maybe? I mean, that'd be nice. I think I passed out. Yeah, I'm out. That's fine. Your companions carry you away from the fighting. Casualties, we lost one. Killed 81. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Abandon the siege so I can change my weapons. They only have 72 left. I am severely wounded. Uh... Get my freaking sword so I can actually do some freaking damage. To siege the castle. Hopefully we can build these ladders before dusk. I really don't want to have to fight them at night. And I don't want to have to deal with their allies if they get here really fast. Okay, thank goodness. Charge. Should be no issue this time. Uh. Okay, I thought the sound cut out. And I was like, well, shit. <laughs> Oh, it's so much easier now. Look at this. So much easier. So much easier. Okay, I need to take care of these archers for my men. Oh. I wish I could recruit the Cathars, like, after I took their base out, that, like, the rest of them would actually have joined me. That would have been awesome. Can I just climb the hill right here? You can. So, in other words, they're not very great at, uh strategically building their hills. They're like building defendable castles and well I guess not even castles really. Shit. Shit. Heal. Ah Okay. Don't want to go over there because then I have to fight archers on my own. And that's not fun. Okay, those archers are still shooting at me, that's just annoying. Die, damn you Goodness. I will applaud them for having a a noble amount of health. Like, they're not that squishy. They might not have good weapons, but they have decent armor. And they have a, like, average amount of health, so... You know. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Even though we're about to destroy them completely. Come on. Kill him. Forward. Onward, men. Oh, there's literally one left. Okay. Well, we took this place pretty easy. And, uh... Probably be pretty easy to defend from them as if they charged now. As long as they didn't come in, like, 800 strong. If it was, like, 800 strong, then we'd, ha we'd have an issue. I really don't want to take any of those. Uh, who do you wish to give it to? I want to have Toluca for myself. As you wish, sire. You will be the new lord of Toluca. Tolucha, maybe? Uh, it has fallen to your troops, and you now have full control of the castle. You may station troops here to defend it against enemies who may try to recapture it. Also, you should select now whether you will hold the castle yourself or give it to a faithful vassal. You now possess land in your name. Without being tied to a kingdom, uh, this makes you a monarch in your own right, with your court temporarily located at Toluca. However, the other kings in Calradia will at first consider you a threat. For if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legitimacy is called into question. It's pretty much the normal stuff. Uh, I need to appoint people, but I don't actually have any allies, so... Uh, we'll, we'll appoint someone from the area. Ooh, you can... you can I can call what I want to be... Anti-Pope? That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... Do I want to be a king? Do I want to be a Tsar? Do I want to be a Khan? A Sultan, maybe? Ooh. Why do I have to why do I have to choose? An Archduke? Well, I'm of nature, so should I just be the a king of nature? Or I will be a No, no, well I can't really be a prince if I'm owning the place. You know, you'd be a king. We'll just go with king. Uh what will the name of your kingdom? Please note that the prefix Kingdom of or Sultanate of will be added automatically. Um, 
it says will be added automatically the prefix kingdom of so the default of adding kingdom to the end of your name makes it sound stupid because then it would be kingdom of your name's kingdom uh, we want to call it uh, we will call it um, the deep wood we are all about nature we will spread the deep wood across the across the lands and cover the lands and forests once again. The deep wood will reign. Your realm needs a color to distinguish it from the others. Please choose one. Um Ah, uh, what do we want? Do we want olive maybe or green? You know, we'll uh give me a preview. Oh, there we go. Uh let's go Let's go green. Okay. Recruit troops. Uh, train new troops. Technology tier one. Holy shit. What? Oh my goodness. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, so I have my own troop type now. I can get 10 of uh, the Deepwood Knights, but it'd be freaking month uh, I'd rather have the recruits I can train them up faster myself you need zero florin to recruit 10 men of this troop type are you willing to pay this you will need to wait five days in order to add troops to your party the trainer your trainer skill of four removes some days you have that much in your pocket but begin training uh, can I do another recruitment I can sweet let's do two of those manage the garrison Ugh, I really I'm kind of nervous about, uh, I don't know if I want to make too many Lancers is the issue here. Holy shit, I can make a ton of Jeroyan guards, but I also want to keep some Lancers. Because Lancers just annihilate them in, in combat. Uh, it's just beautiful. But they're actually, they're decent on the ground too, so I'm not really sure here. Uh, we might as well give put all of our ranged units here because we really don't need them against these guys, honestly. And that should be at least enough to slow them down if they're going to attack. Okay. You got item crown of the king. Ten armor to head. Well, that looks retarded. How much does this sell for? It sells for ten thousand. I might sell my crown, honestly. Uh, it's kind of funny, but. Kingdom of the Deep Wood. Okay. Oh, sweet. And my, uh, my things changed color, too. And what's really good about this is I actually took over a place that has its own port. Well, technically, it owns a beach where you can launch from. So, let's go. Uh, every time you visit your capital center, you have access to the Kingdom Budget Overview by pressing Enter. You can also view the Kingdom Budget Overview while traveling under Reports. Uh, let's go view our Kingdom Budget. What the hell is that? Traveling to beach. Oh shit, people are coming for me. We will probably have to be fighting people next time. I think it's enter. It said enter, right? Manage the garrison. Uh, take a walk around the courtyard. I could enter while I'm here. It's a freaking weird courtyard for me to own right off the bat, but you know, whatever. Do I hit enter now? What's well, that? I could find it in reports, right? Kingdom reports? Kingdom budget report. Ah, here we go. Tax from Toluca. Uh, tax from to Tokpan. Trade tariffs. Gifts investments from con com yeah, commoners. Uh, research investments. That's cool. So I can start researching to gain my uh, to grow my my tech tree. King's purse minus twenty five hundred. Chancellor salary. Shit. Minus ten thousand. Net change, 33,000. Wow. Religious uniformity, 66%. Research point, zero. Kingdom debts, zero. Clergy power, 30%. Nobility, 60. Commoners, 10. So we really need to reform our freaking kingdom, like, as soon as possible. Uh, start getting... Oh, shit. And then freaking the Nords already moved to Tech Tree 2. 
So they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be growing quite quickly. I want you to see this though, if it'll freaking load. There we go. Political map. This thing is awesome. This is so cool. It shows you like how their people are actually spreading. So the dark green over here is us. Uh, apparently Zendar has spread significantly up that way. But this is like just a really nice way to see where kingdoms have spread. It shows their influence. Oh, so we got a little town up there, huh? Uh, what do we... Oh, it's camp. Do we have anything else for kingdom? Uh, not really. View courtship relations? Poems? No, none. So we have a little town up here. Oh yeah, we have this town. That's nice. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've gotten our kingdom started, finally. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.